Brandon here from Snowmod RC. I'm going to show you real quick how to make your own winch or light controller at home. All you need is an old or new servo that you're not going to use. And basically strip it down. This is all the stuff here that you can throw away. And all you need is the cord, the board, the pot switch or potentiometer, and the motor. The motor you're going to actually take off, but for uh, baseline purposes, for what we're going to use it for as a winch controller, um, we are going to leave the motor on to set this before we hook it up to the winch. So I will show you why this is on here for now, but this will come off. So, we are going to actually plug this in and get this set up so we can take the motor off. Alright, so we have our donor truck here. This is what we're going to use to tune everything. So we are using the stock radio on a third channel. Uh, so first, we're going to plug this into what we have here. We're going to plug this into the third channel. And we're going to set it somewhere that we can see it. Or at least easy to get to it. So we'll just set it on the bumper here for now. Turn the radio on. Plug the battery in. Turn the car on. Alright. So you hear the hum? That the motor is spinning right now. Okay, so we're gonna turn this. So what you're gonna do? You, this is spinning now. You're gonna turn this switch until it stops. And I mean dead stop. You may have to very. It's very sensitive. There we go. You got it stopped. Now you want to do your best. You can see the gear is not spinning. You see that? Not moving. So now you want to do your best. Do not bump this. And now for this particular application, because it's not a plastic potentiometer switch, I'm going to use shoe view to basically lock this thing in place and you'll hear it turning because I'm slowly turning it as I move the glue but I'm going to go back here in a second once I got some glue around it and stop it Okay, now that I got some glue, right there so now we're just going to let that dry once that's dry you'll be able to do the next step so right now I'll just continue the next step basically you want to lock that in place with glue any way you can so it doesn't spin anymore ever again um, once you have that done is where your soldering iron and stuff will start to come into play but first I'm going to show you how this particular you can actually see how it's going to work we're going to use it as a winch controller so you can see actually right now how it's going to work so I'm going to program the third channel for my radio to it right now so basically you'll see it start spinning there we go see it's 
spinning. And I already set it to a three position, so. I'm going to set that as one. Now we're going to find the spot where it stops. Right there. That's position two. All the way the other way. Position three. Save it in the settings. Now, stop, forward, stop, backwards, and we're ready to hook it up to a winch. So, now that that's all verified, and you got that set up, we'll shut the car off, get the car out of the way. So obviously still remembering you do not want to bump this. You are you you are now going to want to unsolder the motor. So I keep a little tension on it while I'm undoing it. Now and you just kind of work your way between the two. go on this one nicely enough tells me which one is positive and negative so this came off like this so this one over here is positive this one is negative um, it shouldn't really matter your just operation will be backwards on the motor but uh, double check for what you're doing uh, before you try it so I'm going to get a sharpie And mark on here real quick that that was positive over here. So right over here. Okay. Now that we know that's positive and that's negative, basically from here on out, this is what you have left. And you want to solder a, for example, a JST plug to the tabs where the motor was. And then you will have a winch controller. Once this is dry, clean it up, waterproof it, wrap it in some electrical tape, you know, make it a nice little controller package. Uh, make sure this switch is centered and secure. Uh, before you do that, check operation before you wrap it all up. Uh, but other than that you will be ready to go and how it works with a winch or a light is just basically the however many positions you have on your third channel or fourth channel or whatever you decide to use so hopefully you found that useful get out there make your own stuff save a couple bucks we'll see you out there have a good one everybody